This is Entertainment Tonight. Hello, everyone, and thanks for joining us. Samantha Harris here in for Nancy O'Dell. And there is big news to start the week. Richard Simmons held hostage. He sets the record straight as fans worry. Michelle Turner has tonight's top story. Where did Richard Simmons go? <laughs> there are strong fears for the safety and well-being of the star. So what happened to Richard Simmons? Well, after a two-year public absence, the fitness guru broke his silence and addressed all kinds of rumors with E.T. Weight gain, witchcraft, even kidnapping. No, I'm not kidnapped. I'm under no spell. Sometimes we get lost in our sadness. Here's what had people really concerned. Richard's last public appearance was in January of 2014. He attended a fundraiser for California's health insurance exchange. Then in January of last year, the LAPD responded to an anonymous tip and came here to Richard's mansion in the Hollywood Hills. He was found to be alert and responsive. Now, our last sit down with Richard was in August of 2013, and this moment caught our attention. When the king gets depressed, he doesn't call for his wife or the cook. He calls for the little man with the pointed hat. And he says to the court jester, make me laugh. And I am that court jester. On Saturday, in a story called The Haunted Twilight of Richard Simmons, the New York Daily News cited a former friend who claimed Richard is being tormented by witchcraft under the control of his housekeeper. That appears to be the housekeeper, Teresa, today at his house. E.T.'s executive producer asked Richard about her. Is she holding you hostage? Oh no, Teresa has been with me for 30 years. So we're like an old married couple. Well, when was the last time you actually left your house? Well, I go out on rides and I go on walks, but you know, I haven't done any television lately. I still weigh 150. I work out every day. I have a gym here at the house and I'm very healthy. There was time for me to take some time mm. to be by myself. You know, for the last 40 years, I've been traveling, teaching classes, and I had a knee injury, so I had a knee replacement, which was very difficult for me. And now my other knee is hurting and I don't want to have another replacement. So I've just really been taking it easy. No one should be worried about me.